Meantime, uh, back to one of the top stories of today, and that's word out of Morocco this morning that rescue crews have found the body of the managing director of Abu Dhabi's main sovereign wealth fund. Sheikh Ahmed bin Zayed Al Nahyan disappeared on Friday after the glider he was flying in went down in Morocco, where he was vacationing. Now, the sheikh's body will be flown back to the United Arab Emirates, and the government has announced a three-day mourning period that starts tomorrow. Bloomberg Zainab Fatah has been following that story for us from neighboring Dubai. She joins me now. Zainab, uh, Sheikh Ahmed, very well known, a member of the ruling family there uh, of the UAE. What does this mean? What does his passing mean for Abu Dhabi? Well, his passing is certainly sad for Abu Dhabi's royal family. He's the younger half-brother of uh, the UAE president, Sheikh Khalifa, and he's only 39 years old. So certainly sad news for them. Analysts, however, don't expect so much change in the Adia, which is the government's, uh, Abu Dhabi's uh, sovereign uh, wealth fund, which uh, Sheikh Ahmed managed. They think that the Adia is very much institutional and investment strategies uh, throughout uh, throughout the company won't change by his passing. Mm -hmm. And Adia is the biggest sovereign wealth fund in the world, argu arguably. They've got investments in major U.S. financial institutions as well, so we'll continue to track this. Tell me about the personal angle here, though, because Sheikh Ahmed didn't give many interviews. He was a little bit reclusive. What do we know about him? Not much, really. Sheikh Ahmed has been very reclusive, and in fact, he didn't give that many TV or print interviews. What we know about him is uh, that he worked at the at Adia for several years as an analyst, a an European equities analyst, uh, before he was promoted to head the uh, to head the uh, the fund. Uh, most analysts believe that the fund will be right now uh, uh, managed by another member of Abu Dhabi royal family. He was ranked by Forbes magazine as the 27th most powerful person in the world. Uh, that's about m as much as uh, many, uh, most people know about his, uh, his, uh, about him. And, and the three-day mourning pe period means that the, the markets will be shut down, that business will be frozen? Uh, taken at face value, that might be it, but we haven't got an official word yet from the uh, regulator for the markets in the UAE. Uh, and once they do that, we will be reporting. But until that is announced, we, uh, we don't know what it will mean. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Zainab, for your reporting there.